Hey, welcome back to another episode. Um, today we're looking at the posture reset for sitting and for standing. So we're just going to go quickly through this. Most people can't hold their posture up very well and not strong enough, their spine or stable enough. They tend to sort of slump. It's a very common posture. Now this ends up getting back pain and neck pain and problems and headaches and things like that. So I'm going to give you a couple of tips today to try and help you reset that because it's not just about being able to hold yourself up all day, you'll fatigue too much. It's about making sure you come into a good posture and resetting that posture every hour. So from a slump posture, to come up with this nice upright posture, you just need a few cues. So because what I don't want you doing is arching your back and pulling your shoulder blades back and trying to hold it there because you're just using a couple of muscle groups. You're not using a pattern of movement. And we're trying to improve your pattern of movement as you sit, as you stand, try and get that motor control going, get your core working with the rest of your spine and your rest of your body. So from this position, the cue is, what I want you to think about is someone grabbing hold of the back of your head or the back of the top of your head and lifting slowly up. So if they're lifting your hair, you want to go with them so you're sort of getting lifted up. So you're not getting pulled back, it's lifted up by the back of your head and naturally what happens is your spine lengthens out into that normal S-shaped curve rather than a C-shaped curve. So you think about I'm getting lifted up to the back, from the back of my head up to the ceiling if you like and you'll notice straight away you're in a cause working. Your transverse muscles switched on because you've brought your pelvis and your lumbar spine into neutral from that flex position and that posterior rotated pelvis position. You've pulled it there without, without lifting through here. You've done it through a pattern of movement. So as I go, oh, I better go up to the ceiling, I naturally control this without thinking about it. And that natural pattern of movement is what we want to try and sort of reactivate and get that brain work on rather than you just thinking, oh, I've got to arch my back, or I've got to tilt my pelvis. Because usually people overextend and then just fall back into it. So we've got to go through a pattern movement which involves lots of muscle groups all in a sequence, which is a much better way of resetting a posture. So immediately you just about got everything in line. The only thing that people tend to do is forget about the shoulders a little bit. They've got their spine organized and then they still let their shoulders hunch forward, especially if they're on a computer. So what I want you to do with your shoulders is from that point is open your palms outwards like that, which brings your shoulders backwards into a neutral position and then leave your shoulders there and bring your hands back to that position. Okay, so if we just do that again. So you're from a slump, back of your head to the ceiling, hands out, which brings your shoulders back a bit, and then hands back to there. And this is where you can type on your keyboard in this position here. Um, and this is where you can you know, obviously use mobile phones, that sort of thing, because at least your spine is in a good alignment from that position. Another little tip from this position is to try and activate your whole body and get things a little bit more active is push your heels down, okay? So we tend to do this with um, our anterior cruciate patients who are trying to fire their VMO and their glute because we can be pushing the heels to the floor, but you can do this as well for posture. and push your heels down into the floor just a little bit, which sort of helps being active through your feet, makes a nice stable base for that spine to sit on, and you've got that head to the ceiling, shoulders in the right position, and there you go. And you're not expected to hold that forever, okay, all day you'll naturally sort of come out of it. And when you do, that's when you reset and go back into it. Okay, so it's about moving throughout the day, not holding a bad sack posture and trying not to hold an amazing posture all day. It's about trying to get your body moving throughout the day, but always trying to come back into a good position. Okay, so the reset posture also applies to when you're standing. So if I'm standing in, so this position, which is a very common position, especially if I'm looking down at something, um, this is also common in young parents who are always looking now their kids were lifting that sort of thing. They're getting a bit of a slump posture. And for people who stand all day with things in front, they tend to sort of round out a little bit, which makes them curve here. So the ideas of the sitting reset posture also apply to people who are standing. So again, what I'm going to do is think about lifting the back of my head up to the ceiling. So I'm going a bit of a position here, which again switches me on in my transverse abdominis, which gives me that core tone. And then from there, what I can do is push my heels down to the ground. So imagine your head's going north and my feet are going south. And when I push my toes to the ground, I get a little bit of activation through my hips, a little bit more core, and a lot more quads and legs. And that gives me that upright posture. And then I can actually add in my hands and my shoulders, and bring my hands back in this position, or have my hands by my sides. 
much better than trying to work out, you know, what do I need to do with my pelvis, how, how much do I need to bring my shoulders back, I'm not too sure how I'm supposed to stand. All you need to think about is head to the ceiling, back of the head to the ceiling, so you're not looking down and looking up, you're still looking straight ahead, and plant your heels through the floor, and then just get those shoulders in the right position by bringing your hands out and putting your hands in and down by your sides. And that's it.